All right, I'm back. Oh, Pokemon. Starting to pick the Pokemon. Pokemon, uh, he's put in some really good work. He's, even before the quarantine started, he's a villager that a lot of people had to watch out for. Uh, he plays really patiently, and generally, he, he's pretty tough to approach overall. I'm interested to see like, how he's going to approach this particular matchup. Sargo is a, uh, was a bombs regular. And overall, he's playing this matchup pretty decently. Pokemon barely whipped in the axe, too. Villager Axe is, the, uh, I believe, a frame 6 move or a frame 5 move. It's uh, super quick, all things considered. And uh, besides chopping down a tree, it is a great way. Whoa, playing with fire there, buddy. Okay. Yep, and you see the Axe coming in super clutch. Not the chance of survival. Uh, the knight is a super powerful thing that when thrown by a uh, villager or Isabel, it can lead to some pretty early stocks, assuming that the villager slash the, uh, the Zelda doesn't read the pocket. Sardo managing to have a, a good, a very good lead right now. Blue Lamb's gonna have to play very smart if he wants to make up this, uh, this differential. Alright, so we have the tree. Oh, dude, the tree almost did it! And no! Sardo not realizing that it was mostly water, so if you let go of your shield. Uh, wouldn't have resulted in a shield break with that little amount of uh, shield pressure on it already. But it was going to uh, end up taking the stock. My dude needs to stop standing on those saplings. Zerudo taking a lot of damage just from the tree. Poké Lamb really punishing this weak spot from Zerudo. Oh my goodness. Zelda teleport super strong, but Poké Lamb di the second hit perfectly. And managing not to not to lose the stock immediately, and just like that, you see the knight. It did a did so much so much shield uh, damage to the point that uh, if it had been a little bit more shield damage on Zelda, it would definitely broke it. Oh, very good awareness of uh, Zelda's range. Let's surprise the uh, Poké Lamb isn't pocketing more of the knights, honestly. Uh, it's not like Sardo isn't giving him plenty of opportunities to do it. Oh, dude, is that air dodge gonna be it? No, Zelda does have a great vertical recovery, so that's not enough. You can see Poké Lamb is approaching with... Yeah. Poké Lamb is approaching with forward tilt, and then not necessarily doing the axe, because the axe is a little laggy. Oh, but Sardo managing to sneak up behind him with a, uh with the great teleport and finish the stock. Alright, let's see what um what Sardo had banned for this match. Oh, I can't see the bands unfortunately. That's not an it's not information I currently have available, but we are going to battle. Which is a pretty good pick from Villager. Uh, it offers bowling ball from the ledges and it also um, it makes it a lot tougher for someone to approach from above when he has his tree out. So overall a pretty good pick, not to mention the platform pressure that that a villager can put out is pretty significant on this stage. Oh man, 
Sourdough immediately starting with some pretty decent damage combos, not quite getting probably as much as he might have wanted from those interactions. And Lloyd the Rocket being a pretty persistent hitbox. If it gets reflected back into Villager, unless it's one that he's riding, really it's not that significant. If uh, Lloyd Rock gets reflected, Lloyd Rock gets reflected. Because he can just pocket it if he needs to. Oh, Poké Lamb going super deep. And he managed to uh, to call out the, uh, the attack on the other side of the stage. Uh, the Knight is able to, uh, to hit below the ledge ever so slightly. So it's really good for getting for getting people on re-grabs. And a really nicely placed um, axe sending Sourdough out. Oh man, that was a perfect punish to be in there as well at the Pokemon. Very well done. Alright, and he pocketed the knight, so let's see what he does with this. And the answer is absolutely nothing because that was a re-grab. Sardo doing an awesome job uh, punishing that. Sardo looking for some kind of a uh, kind of major stock. He's been doing a really good job of teleporting through when Pokéland has been expecting it, but it's starting to get not necessarily stale, but it's starting to. Uh, it seems like Pokéland is starting to expect more teleports from uh, from Sardo due to how many times it's caught him off guard. And a great F smash from Sourdough taking the uh, second stop of the land. And Sourdough in a great position to win this match, the set 2 0. I really like that movement from uh, Sourdough right now. He's playing it pretty intelligently. He's uh, he's trying to move very evasively. I respect it. He's not reflecting stuff just because uh, Pokeland is throwing out projectiles. And he's just trying to make it so Pokeland kind of has to respect him. And if he gets hit on his shield is just the right moment. Oh man. I'm surprised that we didn't see more of a punish from um from Sourdough there. And wow dude! That was crazy smart from Pokeland. He he knew that Sourdough had to roll onto the stage. Or at the very least let go of the, the ledge because the uh, the knight was extending the hitbox on the tree. He would have died if he hadn't rolled. So Pokeland was just waiting for him at just the right moment at just the right spacing and managed to take him out right then and there. Again, we see like these teleports from Sourdough coming out very well placed. Alright, Sourdough gonna be able to, if he's able to take this next stock, it's gonna be his set. Interesting use of the, uh, of the teleport and just Barely, barely, barely throwing him off. Uh, the knight coming out just late enough where he was able to actually uh, not pocket it and get hit by it. Dense Fire is not a pocketable item. It's not a pocketable uh, projectile for Villager. And Zelda's grab is hella slow, but you know what, man? It has decent range on the level of Palus. And Sarado has a really good moment is a really good opportunity here to take the set. He just needs to get one good hit. Uh, he is, uh, Pokelam is at up throw kill percent, but you know what, Sourdough isn't too far behind himself. A, uh, a back throw from Villager will be enough to do it, and he could have let it rip half a second sooner, and that would have been, that would have put... Wow! Okay, I've not seen Lloyd Rocket kill in forever! That's nuts! Did he, was that a Riding one? No, it wasn't. He just died it that poorly. That's nuts.
I mean, Lilac's always an interesting pick for uh, Zelda, overall. Zelda, you would assume that the uh, teleportation issues that Zelda might have on Lilac would potentially cause issues, but clearly, uh, Zardo is confident enough to play on this stage straight up and a really good down throw into back air combo. Uh, really, Zelda's bread and butter at this percentage. And just like the previous matches, like this is pretty close overall. Uh, Sourdough just a few seconds away from getting buried. But man, these callouts on the up airs. My man's feeling himself. He's taunting. Okay. I think after getting killed by Lloyd Rock in that last match, like that unexpectedly, he just wanted to just kind of go off. Which, you know, I respect. Alright, good conversions. Alright, alright. Are you feeling yourself now, huh? Okay. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't have enough percent where it was really worth it for him to try to go for that. Wow! Great, great, re great parry from uh, Poke Lamb on the uh, on the teleport, getting a really critical kill at that point. All right, good reflect from Sourdough. Managed to maintain space. And like you can see, like Zarado's like huge lead is almost totally gone at this point. Oh man, okay, that is an interesting reason for picking Lilat. Zelda actually has the ability to hit the uh, villager through the bottom of the stage with down tilts. I would not have guessed that. Oh man, in a pocketed knight, this could be trouble for uh, for Zelda. And yep, quarter into knight could be a true combo. Uh, depending on the percents. Uh, Porter does have a decent amount of hit stun, and if Sourdough wasn't just spamming, um... Wasn't spamming Reflect, there's a very strong chance he's gonna hit by that. Alright, I respect the fact that he can just drop down in front and try to do, uh, try to Reflect the tree. I respect that. But, but like, just use on the other foot now. Uh, Sourdough has a pretty strong deficit he has to make up, and he's not careful. So Land's gonna take the set for free now. Oh, wait, a great use of the knight at the ledge, uh, taking the second stock. Sourdough not too far behind now. Uh, that deficit that he had to make up earlier what could have been really bad, but he managed to keep it together and and take down Pokéland. But you know what? He's playing really hazardously here. You gotta be careful that uh, F Smash wouldn't have most likely most likely would not have killed. It could have been really bad for him. Uh, not quite the reaction, not quite the uh, the punish that I'm sure Sourdough wanted to get, considering he went for that bat for that nair right in front of a uh, Pogelin. Oh, and another knight! He's looking for it, and he got it. He got the uh, he threw the knight out. Pocket knight being super strong can kill uh, Zelda super early, and because Pocket doesn't have any kind of charge up, he can just kind of throw it out, and that will be the end of the stock. Very well done by Poke Lamb. He managed to turn the turn around that kind of pretty bad start that he had at the very beginning of the uh, the match, and turned it into a W. Congratulations! All right, next up we're gonna have a uh, Soul Silver versus Apollo. Looks like Apollo is going Duck Hunt, and Solcer is going Trainer. Alright. 